Wanna root so high that I can't see my ceiling fans Multiply my paper, cut that shit up, want my dividends Smooth Audi in my Audi, now I need a new Mercedes Benz Me and you are not the same, I see life through a different lens Fuck a tour, nobody asking for encore We outside Good nigga, stay out there, I stay indoors Nigga, if you want that change, you need to walk out the door And keep your fucking guard up like the paintings in the Louvre Louis V, where we be, why we topping the charts Eating garlic shrimp, scampi while y'all eating pop tarts Y'all never start 2022 new chapter new art y'all niggas spark rest as long as firecrackers and dark modern house studio space in atlanta i'll be in fashion show out in perry in jamaica jet skiing want the ice on my wrist like lasers glowing and beyond pull up in the bmw same color as limon
Yo, thank you for the raid. Welcome in everybody. How how you all doing? How how you all how you all doing this morning or whatever time zone you happen to be in? Ho ho ho. Why do they call it oven when you when you Why do they call it oven when you of in the foot of out hot eat the food? What? <laughs> it's a meme. Oh, okay. Pop sub has errored. No, okay, let me hang on. Reconnect. We might have been getting some some silly weirdness just now. That meme made pops up. Air. Yeah, is it this it? Why do they call it oven? Wait, this is different from what. Did Velocity <coughs> recite the meme wrong or try to change it and then it was just. just didn't make sense. Why do they call it oven when you. of in the cold food of. I hot eat the food. <sighs> Fuck this meme. Can any of you hear the massive truck outside? Just a, just a little. Okay, I can hear it. It, it. it loud. Go away, truck. You're ruining the illusion of this the airship. It's so far away. Trucks should be so far away. So I did a little bit of um, <clears throat> I did a little bit of improvement in here. Uh, just a, just 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 a little bit. I can pick up some sandwiches now. Oh, a table! Stop it! No table! No, I can pick up some sandwiches. Now. I pick. I can. I can. I can pick up the couch. I think. Yeah, I pick up the couch. As well, and we want to move the couch. You want to help moving the couch? <coughs> I can move the couch now. It's. <laughs> yeah. And pick up the couch now. Um, all right, move it back if you want, I guess. Uh, and I was in the process of making a, a, a command for tidying, tidying Chrome mails, but I created my worst nightmare, um, and I hadn't fixed it before going to bed, and so that's not done yet. Oh, hey, Gwillem, how you doing? Did you also notice that when you were picking up India's model that her shaders change? I was noticing that, yeah. I changed pick up, pick up, I changed the way picking things up work um, to fix a bug of, of things colliding with us when we pick them up. And for some reason, um, for some reason, I think, I think I've got it set up. Are you live? Think, <laughs> are, you li are you live? Are you live? Are you live? I think so. Oh, good. Yeah, when I pick you up, you're, you get, you get different shaders on you. Do I? Oh, yeah. whoa. Well, that's so weird. Yeah. Why? <clears throat> Why? I, I don't got shadows know. now and stuff. Huh. You activate my trap card. You get sh shadows all over. Yeah. Bird's sick again? Yeah. Bird is sick again. 
But it's, I'm so tired of being sick, guys. So yeah. sick, so sick of being tired, and, and also tired of being sick. Do you know why? Why? It's because you never let yourself recover properly. You always try and work through it. I, I've taken time off so that I could I could not be sick again, and now I'm sick again. We did, Is it the Rona? I did, hope not. And they did a COVID test yesterday, and it was negative. Mm -hmm. But I've, I'm going to do another one on Wednesday to double check. Oh. So so yeah, I might I might dip out of the stream just because I figure that probably talking for two hours might not be the best idea right now. Oh, you're going to dip? I think so. My head is very full of cotton wool. Okay. And my throat is very scratchy. And I've realized that the passport office is open at 8 a.m. Oh. So I can phone them right now. So I might just get in early and immediately phone the passport office so they can't escape me. Okay. And yeah. see if I can try and sort some stuff out. And it's probably better before to my do voice it disappears. before your voice disappears. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I want I want to I want to stream with you. I want But my stream. body keeps telling me no. But your body keeps but telling my you. Body. No. Don't sing. My body. Don't sing. It's telling me no. Don't sing. <laughs> my mind is telling me yes. But my body. Anyway. What are you going to do today? Toss around. Let's watch One Piece together. <laughs> you could do that, yeah. You'll get, actually, you'll get bapped off Twitch. Did you hear all the people got banned because it became a huge meta that people would just watch entire series with their audiences on Twitch oh, and really? a bunch of them got banned. Oh. <clears throat> and it's kind of like, right. what did you expect? But on the other hand, people were annoyed about it because it was so inconsistent in who got banned. Yeah, of course it was. Like some people who were very big were doing it and they were just fine. They, um, they allow it if you use the Amazon Prime thing. <coughs> you can watch things on Amazon Prime, but the way that it works is your viewers also have to have Amazon Prime or whatever and watch. Every the single same viewer thing. needs to have Amazon Prime. Yeah, or they How do you? Or they can't see what you're what, what you're watching. Oh, I guess since it's all part of the same service, there's checks in place for that. Doi, can we watch Good Burger? <laughs> Onsta, yes. Welcome to we can. Good Burger. Home, Home of the, the Good, Good Burger. Burger. Can I take your order? We can we can watch Good Burger. We should have an Amazon day where we just you know what? Actually, no, we shouldn't. Fuck Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> they get enough of our money. A black dragon has entered the ring. When we're finally able to just stop streaming for good, we'll we'll just do all the bannable things at once. <laughs> what do you mean when we're finally able to stop streaming for good? I didn't say finally able. I meant when we finally want to. All right, when we <laughs> when we grow weary. <laughs> That's when we'll just stream Whoa! everything. Whoa! We'll just hire some hookers to stand behind us in the background. I know Male hookers. Says, Do you get male hookers? Or are they called gigolos? Yeah. And it's gigolo with the most below. And then we'll get thrown on to it. Ayanoki said, did you guys say there was a TMT Rise Law update video for people who want to watch the movie without catching the show? There is. It's Colin Stein has made it. If this you look for Colin Stein's oh, wow. Twitter account, it's on there. Saka Gustav, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. Thank get, you so much. Get blazed, dude. Whoa, the raid is working. What is this? Wow, Gwilym. Oh, is everything being duplicated? Is it? No, I don't think so. People probably just sending in five at a time and I'm just being dumb. We did it. We did it. Good job. Oh, it looks like the wind condition. Oh no, there it goes. All right, everyone, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go before my voice gets worse and phone okay. passport office. Everyone have an amazing day. Wish me luck trying to get my passport so I can I can go somewhere. Good luck. Yeah, somewhere yeah. very important to me that Good I don't luck. know if I can talk about, but but fingers crossed. 
I'm gonna just gonna jump out of the window. Okay. Bye. 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 Forever. I'm back. <laughs> but I'll I'll just be here snoozing. Sleeper. There we go. Bye, India. Bye, everybody. Have a good morning. Hi, Raiders. Welcome into our shenanigans. My name is Doig. This is Swift. She's asleep. She's going away. She's going. She's gone. Um, the Sonic T posing is powerful. Yeah, this is her buddy. Hey, Sonic. Oh, that's not. Oh, I need to make. I need to make a little icon or something where it tells me what I'm going to pick up. There we go. This is Sonic. His favorite color is blue. <laughs> because he's a narcissist. <laughs> so, um, usually on these streams, uh, we make like art or animation or do stuff, make things. There's a crow mail. Oh, one sec. I missed this. What's this saying? Oh, did you guys say there was a TMNT Rise Lord of the video? Yes. And then Dia explained it. Good. You did miss the swift leave. She's uh she's off. She's away. Knock over the Seth image with Sonic. Is this the Seth image? Ding. So how, how are you all doing? Thank you for coming in. What's what what were you up to? Let me check. Do 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 Sakuga Seth rated you with a party of 45 viewers. Wow. You you were animate you were anim what were you animating? Getting smacked down by Sonic is your main in Smash. Ha. <laughs> we like Sonic here. We like Sonic so much there's a larger version of him and a smaller version of him on the on the sh on the bookshelf. I think we we, we we were playing Sonic Origins, so we put him on the couch and he's just never I've never never changed it. An action sequence in Blender with Grease Pencil. Nice. You're doing a swooshy swooshy um a swooshy 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 cool we i think we have an, a an animation challenge on at the moment which is a, a parkour challenge we put out some video of a parkour course it's not a, not a big one or anything <clears throat> um but that that is that is going uh as soon as we have a free weekend we'll we're gonna this weekend, India breathlessly tells me, um, we'll do the reviews of them. So that means you got till the weekend if you want to want to enter. Check out hashtag Animorning Challenge on Twitter for more for more updates and details. And if Swift doesn't talk about Sonic for a period of time, she will glitch into nothingness. Yes. So I was I was trying to do a tidy up command for the crow males because they tend to just lie around now. And uh, let me just find the video. Let me just find the video. I created my worst nightmare when I tried to make it. Um, if we go over here, and I. Reveal my screen. Bum. This is what I created. Now this is not ideal functionality. This is not what we want to happen. This is indeed terrible. <laughs> Just check it on the crow veil. I don't even know why. I don't even know why it would do that. I'm trying to get it to add to a list of game objects and the line that goes hey add this game object to that makes it go nuts makes it go fucking nuts wait
No, I'm, I've, un I've figured it out. <laughs> let's do, let's do some, let's do some, um, Unity shenanigans today. Let's do some good, good old fashioned Unity shenanigans. Opening the Unity, clicking on the project. All of those projects of like Swifty BVRM, VRM conversion, VRM dog Swift, external VRM are all making projects to try and figure out VRM that one time. Doig has the wake up and immediately fix the bug revelation. Are we your rubber duck dog? Maybe. I didn't even I didn't even look. I realized that I didn't check whether I made um, an explicit connection between the bit cannons and <clears throat> the client uh, Twitch Twitch uh, client, and so gonna go check that because if that don't work, then it not work to do to do 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 it's still opening yep go unity opening all the things you need to do finish the asset importing come on it's on the other screen i can't even show you <gasps> a sandwich look i can pick them up now sambo and they have correct collect correct collect they have collect Collision. They have correct collision. Correct collision. Correct collision. That's harder to say than I thought it would be. Um. Yeah. Sagu Seth, if you want to share what you were animating with 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 the others, feel free to like post a link to a, a, a um, export or anything. Be awesome to see what you're up to. Why is Grease Pencil such a big deal? Um, there's a bunch of stuff that you can do with Grease Pencil. Uh, you can... <clears throat> well, one, you can combine it with your, you know, your, your 3D camera and have it project kind of where the 3D camera is looking. You can also have it um, drawn into the scene. So as the camera moves, it stays in the scene. Um, it's kind of like 3D vector information mostly. Um, but another cool thing is you can use Grease Pencil to um, draw straight onto the topology of a model. So you could do like a, you could draw like graffiti onto 3D models with it or and it will wrap around what the polygons are. Or you can um, you can add lighting. You can use the blender lighting to add lighting to your flat 2D shapes. Um, it's just very versatile. It's just, just it's just really fucking cool. Uh, all right, okay, it's opened up. Um, so I need to check. this oh no it does have it does have a client attached does it does the other one yeah it does all right mm. and it is the correct client And that has that. And if we open up this, Is 
So I've got <clears throat> I got a list of Chrome mills here. A list of game objects called Chrome mills, more specifically. And maybe it doesn't like this. Damn. I should be fine with that. Ah, uh, yeah, no, I have to re- I need to have to re- re-execute for any of the changes I do. Um... Wow, we raid city today. Hello, welcome in, everybody. Stealing a jelly? No, I tried to get a jelly cat. Welcome in, everybody. Can you get the last jelly cat? Oh, they're holding on. Yeah, do the raids seem fixed to you? <laughs> uh, it seems to be holding up a little bit. Doug, do you want to show the channel trip? No, I don't want to show the channel trailer. I'm busy. Thank you for the suggestion, though, Pablo. I would have completely forgotten. Um, so we're welcome in. We're doing some a little bit of a little bit of coding. I'm trying to figure out how to tidy up Chrome mails. Uh, it's not the most elegant thing, but. Uh, otherwise, this happens. <laughs> We're trying to prevent this from happening. Um, so welcome in, everybody. Uh, here is the finished parts in the piece that you're working on. Okay, give me a sec. I'm going to unshare so that it doesn't open up weird stuff in my browser. Okay, got it. Okay, we all good. Dog screen. Nope. Dog screen. There we go. Oh, cool. This is neat. So do you have your drawings <clears throat> locked to the camera? That's cool. That's very cool. <clears throat> really nice spacing. Yeah, that's super cool. I like get retweeted. The girl is locked at times. That's cool. It'd be really cool to see like the breakdown and how you're approaching that um, potent stuff. Yo, Thor, how's it going, dude? Um, for those that are unfamiliar, Pirate Software is Thor. He's making a game. He's making a game called Heartbound. It's on Steam. You can get it. It's in early access. Go play it. It's really cool. I want to play more of it. I've only ever played the demo. I've only ever played the demo hundreds of years ago. I gotta play it. I gotta make some time. I gotta carve some time. I gotta play the game. Hey, Thor, you see him. Called him out. 
Have a sandwich, Tar. Welcome in. Hope you like bacon. And, and a borg and egg and cheese and lettuce and tomato. <laughs> it's just dog today. It's just do it's just dog today. Nice. This is a this is a great thumbnail. I appreciate. <laughs> If this didn't if this didn't have the date on it, this would be great. I'm just thinking like just carrying it around. Hey. <laughs> um yeah, Swifty's feeling ill today. She's got she's got a she's got a cough and uh I'm <laughs> all right, I'm tiny and I got a big face now. Um we did a COVID test and it's came back negative. So I think she's just got like, basically every time India's father visits, she gets ill afterwards. I think she's allergic to her own dad. <laughs> um, if you're watching India's father, that's just a joke. I don't mean it. <laughs> um, all right. So, I got some sort of weird recursive null null reference bullshit happening when I'm trying to add a chromail and I don't know why. Um, but I did write this late at night, so that's that's a big reason why. So if I try and add Is this a this is a game object. If I try and add the new projectile to the list of clueless means you need more crow mail. No, no, no. Look, Thor, this is what happens. <laughs> this is what happens when I keep this line in. I'm trying to prevent this. I don't need more. No, <laughs> no, no. I'm trying to prevent this from happening. <laughs> The, f the fix is exactly for less. For less. Stop it! I can read what those say. I don't even have to go and open. It. No. Um. Okay, chat. What song should play when Dog tweets the infinite chromail video? <laughs> but what if more? Um. So client. Go to definition. Yep. Client's all good. That's all. That's all hooked up. And then client has a reference to to stamps, which is going to become the which is the Chromail system. And then Chromail system has the has the thing to add it. I don't understand why it's not working. When it fires the ammo, it checks whether the ammo has the chromail roll, roll attached. If it does, then add add that chromail roll to the list of chromails. Initial D Deja Vu song. I've not heard that. I don't think. Look, it even comes up in the IntelliSense. I'm not doing anything it shouldn't know about. It, the only thing I can think that it doesn't like is me referencing <laughs> 
I mean, I could have the chromail at itself, but then every chromail would need to know about the client. No. <laughs> I'm stuck. This should just work. If any coders can see my my error. Where do I instantiate it? Here it's instantiated. Oh wait. Yeah, no, the bar new projectile. It's a game object. So sorry, it's instantiated. It exists. It's, it's here. And then only if it has a chrome mail roll. And they have and they have chrome mail rolls. They have chrome mail rolls on them, don't they? They have, they have to, that's how they function. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. You know what? Let's 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 do it. Let's let's do this. Let's be let's be absolutely hor 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 horrible. Let's have Chromail's fine stamps instead. stamps here and then then it adds itself to the chrome mail system That. Okay, and then this doesn't need to do this. Y yeah, yeah, yes. No, yes. I should make it. I should make it public so I can see whether it finds it or not. Uh, Chrome, Chrome L roll. Save. You think the stream category should be changed if Dog is gonna dev? You think I should be in software development? Mm, Possibly. Pro 
Uh, does Unity and VS Code even play nice together? I've not actually tried. What do you... What's, what's VS Code? <laughs> ha. Okay, so if we, if we run, okay, so this, Okay, so this little thing down here, it's, it's looking for stamps. And if we hit play, this should change and say, hey, I found stamps. It found stamps. Awesome. It found, found stamps. Found the correct stamps. Very good. Cool. Stamps is now the Chrome Mail system. Stamps found. So, stamps. Um, this stamps. Should have Chrome Mail system. And public list of Chrome Ales, because everything is public in dogs, dog swift code. It's not good to make everything public in your scripts. Like you want to, you want to manage whether things do, or do not have access to things. But since I'm not putting this out for, for a client base, <laughs> it's just make everything easier for myself to see. Um, all right, stamps. Stamps has a list of Chrome mails down here. It has one Chrome mail in there, and it has this. It's found. It's found this one. Cool job. Done. And so, if this is running, and we're all in here, and I type tidy crow. Fucking deletes it. Job done. No more chromails. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Tight. Wait. We got one more step, yo. We got. We got one more step, okay? Because that will just delete unread chromails, right? So we have to decide. Do we have to decide, do we only tidy away red chromails and... <laughs> it's not implemented in the actual build yet. <laughs> only tidy the red ones. Not the R-E-D ones because they are unread, but the unread ones, the R-E-A-D-U-N-R-E a d ones tidy only the red ones all right okay so then we have to what would we do what, what would we do what would we do we'd have to go through and figure out whether it's been red or not why are red ones blue instead of red? <laughs> because be because red looks like official postal stuff and it looks cool like a big wax stamp and blue is just different. More. Huh. Why is that so bad? Because they shrunk me. Because I'm tiny. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, potentially, I could create two lists. I could create two lists and only add... Only add... Red chromails... To the list. And then it just deletes them. 
I only have to create one list. No. Should be good. We should add them to a list of game objects as soon as they're added. So we can do something with Chrome else that's cool. And like, maybe you could even have a command that's like, gather all the Chrome to one to, 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 to make all the Chrome fly at Dorig or something. So let's keep the, okay, let's keep the one list. Let's just, let's just base it on a bool. Let's just look at it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Hang on. Um, Chrome mail system. Chrome mail system. Clear Chrome mails. For each game object, Chrome mail in Chrome mails do a destroy. So, um, Chrome mail roll. Chrome mail roll equals um, Chrome mail dot get component. So, here, inside of the list of Chrome mails that we have, the, the, the list of game objects Chrome mails, for each one of them, it's currently destroying them all. For each one of them, it goes, I'm going to destroy you. It's destroying. However, if we put in Chrome mail roll and then name name whatever this is we can look inside of the chrome mail for each instance of it get the component and look for the chrome mail role so that get components really cool um now if we do an if cmr because we want to check that it has indeed discovered this is just a safety thing this is not technically necessary because the only way that this chrome mail has been added is is because it's a chrome mail but for sanity um if it does find a cmr we can look inside of chrome chrome mail roll and it has this roll roll red okay so as soon as um as soon as the display message has happened, uh, it sets one game one game object a active uh, as false and one as true. So it basically swaps the two models. However, we should also create a bool that is I am uh, I am being I I am been red. Cool. And that is usually false. I think it defaults to false actually. I don't know, I can't remember. And we set this to I am being red equals true. So now we can check inside of actually it needs to be public for us to check, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe not. You should only listen to me 50% of the time on this stuff. So, CMR dot I am I am been read. If it has No, wait. If if it has been read Then destroy the Chrome mail. Yes. I think it's looking for another one of these. Okay, so for e and when it clears the Chrome mails, for each Chrome mail, it looks for the Chrome mail role. If it finds the Chrome mail role, and if that Chrome mail role status is true that it has been read, then it gets destroyed. <laughs> you think bulls default to false, but you do like to initialize them as false either way. Yeah. Sanity checking. All right, okay. Okay, so save. And then I think I'll rerun. I think I'll rerun. Um. I think I will rerun. No more Chrome mails, they can't. Okay, I think I'll rerun and let's test this so that I can, you can see what's happening. So, 
do 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 post do do the okay i'll look at the post-it note first because i just i went to close the app and i saw it <laughs> spicy hot wings yes this is when india is feeling spicy oh what was the catalyst for spicy hot wings i forget it, that was yesterday that was yesterday. Okay, so we don't need this anymore. We save and we build and run. We do it live. You're using I am being something in your code from now on. <laughs> I, I like I like making stupid bull variables. I, I, it give, brings me joy. Other because it, otherwise it just be like small b red. Um, I'm sure I have in the code somewhere. Um, where is it? Grabable. Do action. New holder. Go to def. Go. Find all references. There's a thing here. Yeah. <laughs> if I am equals who dis dot dog. <laughs> or if I am equals who dis dot swift. Then do this. This is, um. I. I. These two lines I replaced with this line, and it and it and it works <laughs> last night. But it also caused the shader bug that you saw. So you know, work.tm. Uh, okay. Okay. Throw me a crow mail. <laughs> I'm ready and waiting. <coughs> yes. Okay. <coughs> any, any. Okay, okay. <laughs> God. Okay. The next thing to improve is the system by which they're they are spawned <coughs> in because. <coughs> This is ridiculous. Okay. 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 Here is a crow mail. Here, we only need two. We only need two for this test to work, but I'll go gather more. I'll go gather more. Um, or I won't, cause there's one. There's one. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay. Okay, so this one has been read. It says Ka from Gwilym. And this one has been read. <laughs> if new phone equals it equals who dis. Very good. Okay, so those two have been read. Those two have been read. And this one has not been read, but it is read. So it's still to be read. <laughs> English language. All right. So, okay, camera, camera. Martina, I didn't have any build up. <laughs> that was. Oh. <laughs> well, it works. <laughs> it was going to be like, and then we're going to test it, and we're going to see whether it, it, it worked. <laughs> we did it! Great job! <laughs> Can you run that again? You suspect something. Martina, try the command again. <laughs> it's still there. What, what were you suspecting? 
What were you suspecting, Gwilym? It... It didn't crash. <laughs> well, why, why did you think it was going to crash? <laughs> oh, you were suspecting null pointer issues because of the destroyed chromials in the... L You're right! I haven't removed them from the list! <laughs> I haven't removed them from the list, but it is checking to see whether it has a chromail. You know that thing where I was like, oh, we don't have to worry about it because, you know, the only way that it'll be in the list is if it has this thing attached. That saved me. <laughs> that saved him from crashing. The Chromio Vault is a furnace. And then we read and then we read this one. Boop. And it's been read. <laughs> Ah, uh, if it works, don't touch it. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch it. That didn't tidy away. <laughs> that didn't, that didn't tidy away. All right, let's dead. Let's let's figure it out. <laughs> All right, we're back over here now. It's weird that the other two did. Yeah, I think maybe maybe Gwilym's onto something there. Gwilym is onto something. So before we destroy it, we want to. Remove it. From the list. So now it's removed from the list, it shouldn't check it again. So it was, it was maybe just, it just errored. All right. Remove Chromail, destroy Chromail. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's what we're doing here. Um. Cool. Something to read up on is how C sharp for each loops work when you remove an item. Okay, someone also brought up a very good point, which was what if I was holding a chromail that has been read and it gets deleted? Because it should only delete the game object, shouldn't delete me, but we should probably make me drop it anyway. So, um, the way we do that is we look at grabbable, call it grab equals chromail dot get component again. Look for a grabbable. And we'll do that before all the rest of it. So let's put it up here. So 
So if grab, if it grab, then um, grab. Do I think my holder? No. Holder, grab holder. Yeah. Dot. Uh, drop, drop. Nope, there's no argument. Oh, grab dot. Drop game object. So, drop the game object that it's attached to. Cool. Wait, no. Chromium. Yeah. So now it's looking at seeing if... Um, these are all things that I've written. So inside of grabbable, it knows who its holder is. So if I go to here and go to definition, I've created a public stream buddy called a holder. So whenever whenever I pick up a grabbable item, this say the sandwich, this sandwich knows that I am holding it. So that I can make the holder of this item do stuff while it's being held. For instance, I could eat the sandwich. And so this grabbable thing would tell me to do the little anim that I've eaten the sandwich. Did you see that? I fucking ate the sandwich. <laughs> That's a new thing. Anyway. <laughs> so it knows, it knows that it has a holder. And now it knows that the holder should drop and then go to definition. I've got a whole thing about dropping a game object. So there's a whole bunch of logic here of like um, changing, <laughs> changing stuff. If I'm running, if I'm running and it makes me and the tidy crow makes me drop it, there's going to be a split physics second that you, we won't probably see where this thing gets launched and then die like disappears because I have a I have a whole thing here for like whether the input <laughs> amount on the run stick is over a certain threshold and if it is I throw it <laughs> that's that's why when I pick up Swifty and I'm not running I drop her but if I am running I throw her that's that that's that logic there anyway Okay, I'm going to restart again. I'm going to restart. Did you get through, India? I did. Am I on mic? You're not on mic. No, I can take us both off mic if you want to tell me something. Okay. Was it good? Um, uh, am I on mic? You're not on mic, though. No. Do you want to be a mic? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. You you ticking all the boxes. I got it. Okay. Let's restart. File. I thought you could just give the money over the phone. Right, okay. So I got told that some, someday between now and the second, I'll get contacted by them. 
Okay. Like, if they contact me one second, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that could become shenanigans. <laughs> Is Swifty doing all right today? She's, yeah, she's doing okay. She's trying to sort out some passport stuff. Okay, and it, um, I'm putting you on a mic for a second. Okay. Um, I have written a system that can clear out red chromails, and we're currently testing that. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Eat the sandwich for strength. Um, Get the banana, Chris. <laughs> um, get, uh, send me some crow mails. Let's do it. Let's test this. And three, two, one, nothing. I'll send my own crow mails then. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. Okay, so we got this one. We got this one. I think there was another one, but... <laughs> Pilkey says, India woke up. She should go back to bed as she's ill. Okay, so we open this one. Hello, bird and bear. Thank you very much, the dragon lady. So that's a red one, but it's not a red one. <laughs> Let's tidy it. Multiple tests. That didn't work. That didn't even work the first time. You think it's the remove? Do so you think I should remove it after it's been destroyed? You can remove something from a list during a for each. Oh. Well, all right, okay. Back to the drawing board. What would be your, what would be your different approach? I, yeah, I only want to delete the red man. Okay, so rather than having a bool, we just add it, add it to a list of red and then delete everything in the, in the red and then clear the list, maybe? Is that use a queue instead of a list? Uh... <coughs> hmm. I don't know how to use a queue. I've never heard of a queue in C sharp. I will go to have to Google that. And can you DQ? Can you DQ? Um, oh yeah, I'll turn Swift's microphone off. D can you can you DQ 
inside of a far reach. Okay, I think I think I'm gonna write a different. I, I appreciate the Q thing. I'm not gonna learn it. Hmm. Okay, then, you know, this is a new thing. So you know, let's let's try it. So is it public? Q game object. Chrome else. Like this. Okay. But can you still use a for each in a queue? Oh, the far reach is the problem. Okay, I have a new idea. I have a new idea. Okay, here's my new idea. Because if the far reach is a problem, I got I got a new idea. I got a new idea. Okay, so. List. Um, red chromails. Okay. What if, um, what if when I read one, it adds it to the list of red chromails and then I just delete everything inside of the red chromails and then clear the list outside of the, the for each loop? Uh, Warner, hey man, first time here. What are you working on? So you see, see all, um, <clears throat> I'm building a stream overlay inside of Unity. So you see all these little little notifications. They're like messages being sent in by viewers. We're doing a me we're creating something that lets us tidy up the ones that have been read. So this is an unread one. Oh, sorry, this is a read one. So I can read it again. Hello, Bird and Bear. And then this one is <laughs> Pilkey's sending crow mails about <laughs> what to do. <laughs> Um, and we're figuring out a way to delete them. Yeah, I've never heard of a queue either. I would, I want to investigate more on, on the queue side. Um, but.
Uh, Unity uses a bunch. Um, I choose to use C Sharp. So we remove it from one list and add it to the next list. Forget about Chrome Hills. And then... Then we just... You can't remove them from the list. And inside of our for each, we're looking through red chromels, each chromel in there. Get me to drop it, and then we destroy it. And then. Red chromels dot clear. <coughs> I assume. I assume that a for each. Don't don't put the clear inside of the for each. I assume this runs and then it runs this one. Or should I do a check where um No, I it'll run the for each and then do the next thing, I think. So makes me makes me drop it, checks it has a thing. I don't need the if, I don't need this anymore, so I can maybe just. Save this and then um, the last piece we're missing is that uh, we need to let the Chrome Ale system know that we have read the Chrome Ale. So here we ask stamps, which is our shorthand for the Chrome Ale system um, to read the Chrome Ale and it wants to read the stock game. I'm passing it in the game object because we're using the game object to, to delete. We, I could technically pass in anything at this point. It doesn't really need to be a list of game objects. It could be a list of 
could be a list of anything and then whatever it's attached to gets deleted. As, at some point in the future, I'll probably do that instead. But for now, this should work. And then we don't care if you've been read. We don't care about your, your bull or whatever. Okay. All right, so I think what we'll do is we'll do a test inside of Unity first so that we can see we can see things happening. So first off, this is Stamps. And he has two empty lists. He has a list of chromails, he has a list of red chromails, Okay, so uh, if I run this inside of here, this is, could get messy, but uh, all right, so it's running. <clears throat> I'm in two places at once. Cool. And then do chromail banger test. Good job. Cool. So if we look over here on the right hand side, that chromail that just got launched, Swifty, Swifty, you're going to be in the way. That's okay. I'll save you. Um, it's it's added, it's added that um. Chromail to the chrom list of chromails. Then I have to click here, run over here, and pick this up. <laughs> oh my god, I'm carrying it in both. This is fucking weird. All right, so if we if I hit the button that says this is going to get red, boom, it moves it into the red chromails list. Boom. All right. And then tidy crow should should delete it. It did it. All right, cool. And then it gets removed from the list of red chromails. Bitchin, let's do it again. Uh, chromail best test chromail. And you feel free to also send them wait that worked okay cool there we go so now we have a list of two chrome mails we have a list of two chrome mails <laughs> cool three chrome mails in the scene this one has been read Another approach creating a vision of chrome mails. All right, put it, put it down. <gasps> no, wait. If I read it, okay. I found a bug. I found a bug. I found a bug. Okay. But it tidied. Did it tidy? Did it tidy? Okay, if I do, if I do this, well, let's just, let me just. Yeah, the other ones are fine. This one's here. Okay, I found one. It did tidy. I found one bug with it though. When I pressed, when I pressed to read again, it added it to the list again. So we have to check for that. We have to check for that. Um, go to definition. Okay. If 
read mail chromails contains mail so and then add it an exclamation at the start of this if it doesn't contain so this if checks if the list of red chromails already doesn't contain this chromail then add it but otherwise don't and probably by virtue contains if this does contain the crow mail do remove it otherwise it won't know what it's removing Okay, I'm feeling pretty confident about that, so I'm gonna... There's so many, there's so many... Tidy Crow. One banana, two banana. India, what? Oh. <laughs> she is awake, she's just not on stream, she's feeling ill. Best test, Crow mail. India woke up, she should go back to bed as she's ill. This will be the last to be removed. <laughs> Tidy crow. Banger test. Wait. Are you using tidy crow as a crow mail? That's... Mm. Crow. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good about this. We close. And we restart. File, build and run. <laughs> this is, this feels like really, 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 really quite like beginner level type coding stuff like basically just making an object add to a list but the results of it are that we have a cute little system where like we can tidy away the red chromails and now that we have a list of game objects that are chromails we can do cool stuff like throw the chromails at us or or like gather them to a, a, a point so that it's easier to the, the, adding them to the list makes it cool, cooler. Like we could do a bibbity bobbity boo on them and have them all like pile up in the middle here or something, or have them have them all swirling around the center point, or I don't know, like have them attracted to stamps Whoa! or something. Whoa! Call, call, yeah. Bitchin. <laughs> Make. Make we can make them burst into flames when they get deleted. Yeah, <laughs> we 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 could even have it so that we could even have it auto read them. Yes, tidy crow. It didn't delete it. I haven't read it yet. I read it. <laughs> oh, we should test whether it deletes while I'm holding it. It did it. It also removed the UI. I don't think I accounted for that. <laughs> I don't think I accounted for that, but it did. Wonder why it knew. Is that broken? I don't know. Let's test. <laughs> Let's test it. Try again. Got it read it it's working 
Partita just assumes, just assumes I'm going to be doing what she thinks I'm going to be doing. <laughs> what happens if you accidentally drop the chrome out? Is it possible to re-summon it? No. But I can, like, if I pick it up and I drop it and I haven't read it, then it doesn't get added to the, it doesn't get added to the red chrome mail, so it's fine. So I can just do this and it's fine. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. So I read it. Three. <laughs> oh, I was hoping that was going to be two. Two. So this is, so, so this is two. And then if we tidy, if we tidy them, if we tidy them now, they're gone. Yeah. <laughs> and this one remains. And it's two. And then it's been red. Fuck yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the sandwich. Oh, I can, and I, now I can finally try and, try and, try and. Now I can finally try and... <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> the camera's being weird. The camera's being weird. I don't know why. Oh, here we are. Interesting. <laughs> it's like it still wants to know about the table. There we go. Oh no! I forgot to do a thing. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, okay. I, I know how to fix that. So I did something different to this sandwich. I just have to apply it to all the other instances. Of... <laughs> oh, it's, there's a visible wall here. I get it. Go home camera, you're drunk. Yeah. Okay. So basically, I just have to make sure that... This one... We make all of these inactive. And then... We override and we apply all. And we save. So, the reason that I wasn't able to pick it up was because... On site on the main root object where the grabbable is, it I need to like be able to collide with a col a collider with my little with my little grabby hand search beam <laughs> thing, and I took the collider off the main object and applied it to all the child objects so that all the child objects had their own colliders so that when it stacked up it was correct, but <clears throat> I didn't put it back on the main object and I couldn't pick it up. I couldn't pick it up anymore, but I fixed this one, but I didn't fix all of the instances of the prefab. So that's what I did there where I um, set all of the parts inactive because that's how it starts. And then based on what level of sub comes in, it adds the ingredients. But instead of making the collider at the top of the, of the root object be a collider I made it a trigger, which is a text box, uh, sorry, a tick box inside of the collider, which is just here. And a trigger is, it acts a little bit like a collider, but it doesn't collide. It's just a volume, but you can still do some logic with it. Is it a line trace or an overlap you use for interacting with props? It's, um, it's a sphere. So, uh, when I click the button to grab something, it looks at a sphere around my grabbing point, and it fi the, f the first one that it finds, it puts it in my hands. 
So generally the closest thing I think to my grabbing point gets grabbed. So if I grab here, it still grabs that. What's really fun is that when I move my arms around, it moves where my hold point is. So I, if I look down, my hold point, my grabbing point is over. It's directed by my head. Any any recommendations on where to best start learning coding in Unity? Here. Just keep coming back to my stream. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't... Um, I like Brackies. Brackies on YouTube. They've stopped doing tutorials, but they have a, a great amount of stuff on there. I use a lot of Brackies. Um, but I'll be trying to teach what I know. And I don't know that much, so... It won't be... It won't take me too long. Uh, yeah, okay. So we got this system. The Chrome Mail. I'll read it. Ha. Bink. Cool. Um, so we can just chill for the next 17 minutes. I accomplished... I accomplished the thing where I avoided my nightmare. Coding messes with your ADHD thought process a lot. In what way? I'm curious. It's like a text maze and you can't visualize it. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I think, I think a good way around that would maybe be writing documentation um, next to, like commenting everything and telling yourself what everything means so that when you come back to it, you can read it again. Now to make the infinite chromial bug a feature. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. 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 <gasps> Gwillem! How do you... How do you change what the reward amount is for things? I wanna... I wanna know. Can you show me how to make cool things like that appear? Yeah, I'm using Unity. I built it on myself with things I bought off the asset store. Although the models and everything, all the most of the art stuff I built my myself. It's all the coding things that I get help with. Oh, your rewards are managed by streamer dot bot not your unity thing but that suggests that they are able to hook into it i'm gonna look at that briefly right now streamer.bot streamer.bot Yeah, there is there is a Unity API. Wait, do you mean a Twitch API for Unity? There must be an, you can adjust reward costs on the fly somehow, though in your setup you remove one reward and replace it with another cheaper one. I mean, replacing it with a cheaper one makes it appear as if it's new, which is good because then it alerts chatters that it's there, so I think that's a good one. Mm -mm. I've 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 done some API stuff, but very very little. I do API stuff um, when I'm grabbing uh, grabbing certain details about, like, say, if someone raids, and I 
and I or I think I had to do it for the shout outs. I had to take like a string from the from the message and then try and figure out a username and therefore an like an their their uh their profile picture. That's probably gonna be a cool tutorial at some point. It's, it's basically here. <gasps> now it's gone. <laughs> Uh, it's in Twitch Lib. Yeah. So I wonder. There must be a way to get like. There must be a way to get. <laughs> I have pressed the true button. Um. User's response is no. Yeah, it's it's all this stuff that's hooking into Twitch, which I think they are changing. Um, and I keep asking them to let me in on on like, hey, let me let me do stuff. I think they're building their own Unity thing, so hopefully soon that will just be a little bit easier. For everyone. Um, switch the API Helix models. Users get users. Get user. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do this. Um, Twitch. The dot API dot Helix dot model. Okay. General points. Stop. Ho ho, look at this. Look at this. Oh. Oh, create custom reward, huh? That'd be cool. If I can get it so that we can set it so like the raid bomb only is like the raid thing is only available to redeem when raids are happening, I'll be super happy. All the green stuff is commented out. It's not it's not actual code. It's it's trial and error stuff that doesn't work. But look, it's got like, you know, max per stream setting, max per use per stream setting. It's got all that built in. Looks like we can... <laughs> no more bombing the cozy scene. Yeah. Oh, you can change what the default image is as well. Potentially, I guess. We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to look into this, because this would be neat. This would be a neat thing. But, I don't know how long it'll work for. Hmm. Because I think they're getting rid of... some Helix stuff at some point. Or they already have, or something. Well, I think it's still working. So, okay. I use I use the API to do stuff like um, this. So shout out uh, Gwilum. Gwilum. Checking how I spell your name. Yeah, I got it. Got it right. Cool. So if I do a shout out for Gwilum, then I can get a cool I can get a cool picture of Gwilum to show you from their profile picture on Twitch. How cool is that? 
Dump. Yeah. And eventually I want to build in stuff that's like, hey, pick their top clip. And I would love, I would love for my my Twitch thing to work where I can just watch that clip inside of inside of the stream. Dragon, hey, it's me and Gwilym. We're chilling out together. <laughs> yeah. Ha 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 ha. Um, but I would absolutely love, I love to do 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 more stuff like that because it it would be neat. I forget how to. I think it's. I wonder if that's broken still. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check. You you can come with me, Golan. Let me put Golan here. Uh, do, 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 put the book, put the book down as well. So I wanted, always wanted to make it so that like this screen up here, um, could play stuff. But it bugged out. I want to see if it's still bugging out or not. So uh, <laughs> this is basically multiplayer. Oh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna fix. I'm gonna fix the table. I'm tired of the table jiggling. Unless you're not tired of the table jiggling. Do you like the table jiggling? Do you want a little jiggle? Jiggle, jiggle. It ruins the illusion that things are on top of the table, though. Like the trailer. Let's see if it'll show the trailer. All right. Okay. Let's see if it'll show the trailer. Um. Girl in the glim. Amazon. I don't know if it does YouTube anymore. Let's see. Switch account. Holy shit. On my recommended videos, the Donnie was so sad he crashed the car it has 3.1 million views now. That is incredible. It's really good. I should just play that instead. Profile. Your channel. <laughs> Copy video URL. Let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. Show this. I went black. <gasps> See, it's still still weird. No. It's like it doesn't know how to buffer it. Screen said no. I should get that working. I should get that working, if I can get that working. What if I try Twitch clip? See if that works. Um, how do, someone give me a clip to show. It's a, it's a, it's a, um, it's a, th it's a plugin for Unity. I haven't looked at it in a long time. Um, but it's. It's one of those things I tried to get working and then it was like, nah. So big screen. Um. I think it's on here. Or it might be this. Uh, YouTube screen. I had a I had a couple. I had a couple. Okay, advice from advice from Bowie. Thank you. Nah, it looks pretty broken. Okay, okay. We're, we'll go over here now. So, I had this YTD Al video player, which I think maybe got an update. And then I have YouTube screen as well, which is a YouTube player script here. 
Maybe I'd need to mix and match. But I tried two of them and they were both both a little both a little sketchy. Um and I also like I have like you had or I think someone else maybe, because I don't think you use NDI Gwilym, but I have an NDI receiver for the TV as well. So that if I want to put someone's screen up there, it can do that. And also the fan art. <laughs> the fan art used to go up there as well. You're using an actual capture card now. Oh, interesting. That's probably a lot better quality, huh? So you... You use the capture card to Im to input into into your Unity or into OBS. <laughs> Upgrades, yeah. Hmm. Been months since I looked at this. Okay, if I turn this on, yeah. This one was cool. It had, ah, uh, it had a whole bunch of UI you could click on as well. Like, you could you could do scrubbing and stuff. I think this one actually worked for YouTube videos. It was more like I wanted to get one that worked with um, Twitch ones, and I think that was the other one, which was this one, which I think is the black screen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think this is the one that's trying to do stuff. Yeah, it's bath time. It's bath time. I got to go ahead to work. So we'll we can check this out again in the future. Let's see if I can get it actually working. Which would be neat. I want to have a little breakfast show TV nuke thing. Cool. Um, but I really appreciate you guys sticking around. I know it's been a little bit of a weird one where it was just um, doing some arbitrary tidy up, some spring cleaning. But I think I think we've I think we've opened up a lot of cool doors for like neat stuff or like you know I like the suggestion that the Chromel set on fire when we we're tidying them up. Um, but yeah, uh, news on the tutorial, by the way, is that we finished editing the first episode, um, which is like an introduction to to Unity a little bit and some some setup and some scripting. Um, we gave that to some folks to look over, and I think there's some feedback for me to read. Um, but it's it's going. It's just a lot. it's just a lot. The first episode is about 30 minutes, and I I condensed it down from like. 90 to minutes to two hours of footage of me trying to talk about trying to talk about this um but yeah it's things are progressing so hopefully we'll have something cool but until then until then may the rest of your day be filled with adventure and i'll catch you tomorrow same place same time same goobers take care everyone and goodbye goodbye everyone goodbye goodbye everyone Goodbye.